Now, uh, we start our study of the differential calculus for vector valued functions. Differential calculus for vector valued functions. Uh, previously, we have studied the differentiability of a real valued function. Okay, uh, and uh, we introduced the partial derivative uh, differentiability and uh, the gradient of f and uh, the, the directional derivatives and also higher order derivatives of f. Uh, and uh, we established the Taylor formula to describe the uh, Asymptotic property of f near the given point, and we also have the mean value theorem, which are very useful to study the uh, properties of uh, our real valued functions. Okay, now we want to uh, generalize this idea to functions which valued vector valued. Ah, here b r a is the a is a point in Rn, and Bra is the R neighborhood of A in Rn. Uh, so Bra is a ball in n-dimensional Euclidean space. Uh, if it is necessary, we might denote this ball with a superscript super index to denote the dimension. Okay. So uh, this will help us to distinguish uh, the balls in different uh, spaces. Okay. So uh, the idea of uh, differentiability of uh, f is to uh, use linear maps to approximate the nonlinear f. Our map f in general is nonlinear. F is nonlinear. Which means this result f alpha x plus beta y alpha beta are real numbers and x y are pointed in Rn equal alpha f x plus beta f y. This is not true. Ah, uh, in general, this is not true. So our map is nonlinear. Nonlinear map is quite flexible. They are fully to uh, change uh, in di different uh, strange ways. Uh, uh, so it is difficult to uh, study it. But the linear map uh, is much better. We can study, uh, we can get uh, the property of the linear map uh, completely. Uh, okay. So we want to approximate F uh, with uh, linear maps. Uh, okay. So uh, this will require some knowledge about matrix and uh, and uh, linear algebra, okay? So a matrix A, M by a matrix, uh, can be considered as a map, also denoted by A, from Rn to Rm. Uh, a, H, no, this map, any h in Rn, the image of h under this map is a h. h is an n-dimensional column vector. a is m by a matrix. Therefore, a h is a, a vector in Rm, an n-dimensional column vector. So uh, this is a geometric viewpoint. We consider the matrix as a map. Okay. So um, this map is linear in the sense that a alpha h plus beta k equals alpha a h plus beta a k. Uh, so this is the uh, starting point to study uh, A, uh, the matrix A or the uh, linear map it, it represented. And uh, this is uh, algebraic property. But we also uh, have a very uh, useful uh, quantity to uh, characterize the matrix A. That is the norm, uh, the norm of a matrix. The norm of a matrix is defined by the maximum of 
AX. Okay, here uh, on the right hand side of this equality, there are two uh, bars, two pair of bars. A pair of bars surrounding X is the norm in Rn. And the other pairs of bars around uh, AX is the norm of Rm because AX is in Rm. Okay, uh, so, so you use, although we use the same notation, you should be careful about to distinguish their meaning. Okay. So this is this also equals this also equals x is not zero ax okay so this is a uh, question can be considered as some uh, magnification ah uh, magnification factor uh, so Magnifying factor, uh, because uh, this is Rn, this is an x under our map A, map into Rm, so Ax is here. So uh, this uh, quantum in the definition of the norm of A is precisely the pro pro proportional factor uh, which these two uh, uh, which is the norm of a x and the x. Uh, so in different direction, x different x. Uh, the the factor is different, but uh, uh, there is a direction. Uh, in this direction, the factor uh, achieve its maximum value. So this maximum value is the uh, the norm of a. So the meaning of a is the magnifying factor. Uh, A is the magnifying factor of A uh, as a map from Rn to Rm. Okay. So the 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 norm of a matrix has the uh, basic property very useful. We we will use it later. The first is that AX is not greater than, no, sorry. The Euclidean norm of the vector AX will not greater than the metric norm of A multiplied the norm of X. Ah, this is a, a question in our quiz. Ah. And the other property is that also important. Uh, suppose A is M by N and B is N by L. Then we have A, B. A, B is M by L matrix. So we have three matrix. Uh, once A and B, uh, uh, once we can multiply A with B, we have three matrix. So we have three norm of these three matrix. What's the relation? The relation is that A B will not greater than the norm of A multiply the norm of B. Okay. Uh, the proof of this inequality I left as you to you as an exercise. I uh, you might use the definition of norm. Ah, so this is easy. Uh, so I will not prove this inequality here. For matrix, we can also uh, have another viewpoint. A matrix A M by a matrix, say uh, A one one, A one N, A M one, A M N. This is an M by a matrix can be considered as a as a point in R M N. Uh, A one one. A one n, A m one, A m n. That is we we arrange the rows. The firstly the first row of the matrix A, then the second row. Finally the m is the last row rows of the matrix. Therefore this is um uh, altogether is m n components. Ah, so this is a point in R m n. Okay. So a matrix 
uh, can be uh, correspond to a point in Rn. Um, okay, so we can uh, view the metric as a point in Rn. Um, uh. So of course, in this way, as since it is a point in an Euclidean space, uh, this metric has a norm, Euclidean norm, which is by definition the square root of i equal to one. The square of all the components. The sum of the square of all the components, okay, so that is a, no, sorry, gf long 1 to n a i g square, then take square root. This is the Euclidean norm of the matrix. Mm, okay. Uh, this norm can all, is, is also useful, but uh, it is not as convenient of the norm we used previously introduced. Uh, because, for example, uh, using the Euclidean norm, this, this property also true, is also true, but uh, uh, much difficult to prove, uh, although it is true. Uh, this is the reason why we will not use the Euclidean norm, we use the, the, the norm uh, the maximum of the a norm of ax over the unit sphere. Okay. Now, uh, having this preparation of the uh, matrix, uh, we will uh, study the differentiability of a vector valued function. Okay. So this is a definition. Suppose f is a map from the R neighborhood of a point a to an Euclidean space Rm. Uh, this is our map defined near the point A. If there is a matrix M by N matrix such that limit H goes to zero. F A plus H minus F A minus A H divided by the norm of H is zero. If this condition is satisfied, <coughs> then we say that F is differentiable. At the point A. And uh, such A will be unique. We will prove that this A is unique. And A is called the derivative of F at the point A. And denoted F point A. Okay? <clears throat> this is the definition. The meaning of this definition, uh, that is we, uh, in general, in general, the, the map in general, the map H map to F A plus H minus F A is nonlinear. Uh, this is a nonlinear map. So, well, H maps to AH is linear. Ah, so, uh, the definition of the differentiability, that is this limit, means that we can use the linear map AH to approximate the nonlinear map FA plus H minus FA. Ah, uh, there is an arrow. The arrow is, uh, is very, very small. The limit of the arrow is zero. Even after divided by the norm of H. Ah, okay. So this is a very accurate uh, approximation. If a nonlinear map uh, can be approximated in this way uh, by a linear map, uh, so we said that the nonlinear map is uh, differentiable at the point. Okay. So uh, since this AH uh, is a very good uh, approximation for F, for the difference of F, uh, we expect, it is reasonable to expect that uh, we can draw many important conclusions about uh, our map F uh, from 
the matrix A. Okay, so we will study this later. And also, I will remind you that uh, uh, the differentiability of F at the point A depends only on the local behavior of F near the point A. And also the derivative, the differentiability and the derivative uh, depend on the low local behavior of f near the point a so from the matrix a we could not expect to uh, draw some conclusion global conclusion about f uh, we can only know how f behavior uh, behave near the point a uh, we can only know the behavior of f near the point a uh, if, the, if you want to get information for f at some point very far from A, the, uh, the derivative uh, could not help us in for this purpose.